We met 21 years ago um, at a salon. No, it was, oh no, it would have been, I'm sorry, no, we've been in business. 35 years ago? 35, yeah, 30, 34 years ago, we worked at Salon Klaus together, and we met there, and... Um, we had nothing in common. <laughs> we're complete opposites. And so then, when we talked about... Life. Life together, one of the things was to own, Eddie wanted to own his own business. The business has been a family business that the boys have grown up, um, they would come twice a week and clean the salon. And so it was definitely a place where we taught them how to have a work ethic and how to persevere. They never wanted to mop the floors, but then when they got here and did it and they got paid for it, then it, <laughs> it ended up making it worth it. You are at a, in a career where you have to talk to people all day long and you're completely deaf. Right. And that is beyond um, comprehension another sometimes. Challenge. Another yeah, challenge. <laughs> another challenge that you definitely have risen to, that you have to talk to people and interact with people all day long just from reading their lips. Because being completely deaf is, is a challenge. Would like to have a salon dominium, some type of unconventional building that we looked at a tire center, you know, kind of that garage you know, where we can have the garage door open and have it be in, on nice weather days, um, but that sold. And then we looked at an Italian restaurant and that sold. And so we're just looking for a space that we could either build out. And Eddie used to do construction. But you know, once I start something, you know, somebody encouraged me and start something, I usually pull it, you know, pull through to succeed afterwards. Well, and you love a good challenge. Yeah. That <laughs> <laughs> Never met a challenge you couldn't handle.